All right, so bring up the bike. You're gonna lift the handlebars, lock it in. You're gonna lift the seat all the way up and lock it in. After that, you're gonna lift it, keeping the wheel pointed forward and lock it in right here with the screw lever. And the fourth step, you just lift the back wheel and you're good to go. When you first get the bike, the gear selector and brake lever are gonna come loose, allowing for adjustability. First, you tighten the gear selector using a smaller Allen wrench. And next, you're gonna bring the brake lever to the front, wherever it's comfortable for you. And you're gonna get the bigger Allen wrench and tighten it down. And it's good to go. Okay, for the left side, the first step is gonna be making sure it's at the same level as the right side. Once it's at your preferred level, you're gonna tighten it down. And always be sure to use the short edge for leverage to make sure it's really in there. After that, you're gonna adjust your throttle right here with a little bolt on the bottom. All right, to adjust the display screen, you're gonna tilt it to your preferred height. From the back, you're gonna use the same smaller Allen to tighten it down. And once it's tightened down, you hold the power button for five seconds and the display will show you your battery, your miles, the miles per hour, and your gear. Now when you get your bike, the reflector is going to be pointing forwards, but in order to stay safe, we're going to bring it back, use a Phillips screwdriver to tighten it down, and you're ready to ride safe. Now to fold down the bike, you just press the lever in the back, drop the wheel forward. Next, you're going to unscrew the lever in the front, keeping the wheel pointed forward. You're going to bring it back and lock it in. Third step, you drop the seat, lock that in, and lastly, it's as simple as dropping the handlebars down, and you're good to go. Everything's done, and you're good to go.